Hi, my name is uh, Donica Burke. I'm head brewer here at uh, Tappet Brewing Company in Southampton. So I create all the recipes and brew all the recipes. I've been a brewer about five years. I started home brewing uh, and I really enjoyed seeing how people enjoyed my beers and I wanted to do that on a much bigger scale. I think the most satisfying part is when uh, you see customers uh, drinking your beer that you've made. That, that, that feeling never gets old of, of pride in your product. In Tappet, I think uh, the way we stand out is our beer is very approachable. Uh, we don't generally do higher strength beers, it's mainly lower strength, more sessionable beers that are more about community and drinking together rather than getting smashed. Eventually, I want to have my own physical brewery, be able to push my own brand and do, do exactly what I want without any, anybody telling me what to do, basically. In April this year, dur uh, during the pandemic, um, I set up uh, my own brand, which is Crop. Uh, so the main focus of it is uh, to uh, shout about the uh, producers, basically the grain producers, the yeast producers, um, that beer is a sum of its parts rather than uh, just down to the brewers. And the whole plan is to eventually in the next year, year and a half, to create my own brewery uh, with a tap room, uh, either in Southampton or Shrewsbury. So today we're brewing uh, Dialing In, uh, which is a 4.8% New England pale. Uh, so uh, this is where the brewing process starts in the mash tun. Uh, so we mix the, the grain um, with uh, two and a half times the volume of water. And uh, you want the temperature in here to be anywhere between 60 and 70. Um, so today we've got uh, 67 degrees, so uh, quite a high mash temperature. Um, the reason for that is to, uh, when you do it at a higher temperature, uh, you convert more of the uh, starches into non-fermentable sugars. It leaves more body in the beer, which is uh, like lends itself to the New England style, which is what we're doing today. So this is a refractometer. Um, so what this does is uh, it tells you how much sugar you have extracted from the grain. So if uh, so, this is 19 bricks is uh, 1.075 uh, standard gravity, um, which if you ferment this uh, like it is now, you get a seven and a half percent beer. So this is. Uh, called first runnings, and it's the the most uh, the most sugary of the uh, wort. Um, after being in there for for sixty minutes, then it's transferred in, into here, which is the kettle. So in here it's boiled and uh, that sterilizes the liquid um, and you can also add hops at this, at this point which add bitterness to the beer. The beer is then it's chilled in here so you get cold water going past uh, hot wort um, and the hot wort becomes cool wort and the cold water becomes hot water and goes back in here for brewing in the next day. So the wort goes into here and in here, uh, these are called fermenters, and in here you would add the yeast, and the, the yeast breaks the, the sugar down into alcohol, and then you have beer. <laughs> so welcome to Lundro Brew House. This is our new uh, satellite brew house. So it's uh, six months since, since we last spoke. There's been quite a lot happened in the last six months. 
the company that uh, is Tappet is now rebranding as Joy Brew Co. And uh, we have taken on the London Road Brewers, which you're in today. Uh, so this is going to become our satellite uh, brewery where uh, we brew lager. All the other craft stuff is going to be brewed in uh, Northam, in our other brewery. This year is quite a big year for me because now I'm brewing in three different breweries. So I'm brewing in uh, the brewery in Northam, uh, here and uh, down in Portsmouth. On the crop side, uh, I've also taken on the lease of uh, the brewery in the back of the Greenwich Brew Pub in Southsea. Uh, so I'm brewing all the crop beer uh, down there now. I got my license last Thursday. Uh, so the first beers went on sale la last week and again, really good reviews. So I'm really happy how that's going. I aim to grow, grow the brand um, over the next year and hopefully uh, in a year and a half's time, build a full scale brewery because at the moment it's 500 litres, it's a small scale, but it's, I'm using it as more of an incubator, grow the brand and get feedback and de develop recipes that way. I've met so many people in this industry. Uh, it's such a friendly industry. Uh, everyone helps each other out. So like, if, I, if I need to learn something new, I text a mate uh, that had an issue that I've not had, and you, you'll always find someone to help in the brewing industry and everyone's, everyone's made, it's, we're, not, we're not really competing against each other. So 2022, uh, obviously um, it's going to be really exciting growing a new brand uh, with uh, Joy Bruco launching. Uh, so we aim to grow the brand into uh, 12 venues across the city as permanent taps. We're going to have a core range of four or five beers, which will always be available in um, these 12 uh, pubs in the centre of Southampton. So uh, Tappet is going to rebrand as Joy Bruco. So uh, this is going to be, this brew house and, and bar is going to be the, the main uh, shop front for the whole, the whole place. And the brewery down in, the tap room down in Northam uh, will, will close and all, all the focus will be on here and this will be the flagship venue uh, for our new products. So uh, with the expansion, um, we're starting to take on more staff. So the first new member of staff for uh, Jai Bruco is Ben, who's going to be my assistant brewer. Uh, so he's going to help me brew all the beers uh, in London Road and in Northam. So I think I've been working with Don since October now, working in the tap room at Tappet. And I think this is my fourth brew today, or third or fourth brew. Yeah. Kind of learning the ropes, learning the process and figuring out how to make beer. So what I want to gain from this role is to learn as much as I can about fermentation because uh, I've got my own company on the side where I brew rare rum and the, the sort of similarities in the spirit world and the beer world and fermentation and it's just getting more experience in that and also learn a new, new part of uh, the brewing industry. That's great fun. That's, uh, always great fun working with Don. <laughs> He's the father I never had. <laughs> 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 <Perfect>. <laughs> <Sweet>. <laughs>